to learn what it's like to lose men. To have them die trusting you. And there's only one way to learn that lesson. First time I did was on D-Day. Alright, lads, listen up. We've got until dawn to achieve our objective. And it seems like the crowd's already know we're coming. Now we've got one chance to demolish the coastal artillery. But if we don't, the invasion tomorrow will fail. Now I trade you all for this. Let's not let the Navy show us up. So take the case, mates. Blast the artillery and fire your flares to let the Navy know the job's done. All right, this is it. You know the drill. Stand up! Hook in! Stand by!
Don't shoot! Damn you, Kingsley. We picked you as a crowd. Lucky we didn't fill you full of lead. Nice to see you, gents. Where do we stand? The captain didn't make it, so we're on our own now. I say we dig in and wait for the rest of the sick airborne to assemble. Henry said we have till dawn to destroy the artillery. If we don't, the invasion fails. So you fancy yourself the captain now? Sunup's an hour away at best. There's no time for a sit-down. Yeah, there's also no muscle or no cavalry coming to save the bloody day. The only thing we can do here is to die or try not hey, to. you two scrapping over who's got the bigger bollocks ain't gonna solve nothing. Those German casemates aren't that far away. I think we can get to them in time. So I say we take them out. The company's scattered. We're pissing in the wind at this point. You know what's at stake. You all do. This is madness. Hey, we're beyond madness. Look, I'm with Arthur. We finished the mission. All right, Kingsley. Looks like you're in charge now. Casemates and Valhalla are that way. We should get moving. What's the plan, Kingsley? Let's get a path cleared. You heard the Sarge. Clear that debris. Lights on the cliff. That's the coastal defense battery. The bridge is well guarded and the bank's too steep. We secure the bridge then. It's our only move. You're the boss. Keep low. Watch that truck. We have an opportunity here. Stay quiet and get close. Targets. We've got options, Sergeant. Any ideas, Sergeant? At the fence. Take them out. They're falling back. Move up. The tower! To 
Gunford. Richard said I'd gone mad. Sometimes a little madness is called for. I think deep down he understood that and realized we were cut from the same cloth. Looking, Sergeant. Let's see for yourself. Let's get you the lay of the land. Our targets are the guns housed in those casemates. And we can only get there through a horde of Germans armed to the teeth. Think you can handle taking out the lower gun? I fancy my chances. That bunker's our way in, but it's packed with MGs. It'll be a hard push. First job's getting across that minefield. But that anti-tank ditch could be useful. I've got an idea. I'm all ears. We can punch a hole through the mines with those blitzers there. And the bunker will make minced meat out of us as soon as they hear the engines coming. We're going quiet then. No engines. Bail at the last second, let gravity do the work. That should get us to the ditch at least. Well? I love it. I think you should go first. <laughs> all right then. As soon as you hit the ditch, Get the men ready. Tommy, you with me? Oh, yeah. Drive through the minefield, take the bunker, strap some thermite to some highly explosive weapons. Piece of piss, Sarge. And you, get a second sun burning in the sky. If our ships don't see that flare, if they don't know we've won, they'll fire on the guns and risk taking us with them. Well, I don't know about you, but I think I'll take very little consolation in knowing that the fire that killed me was friendly. Don't worry, Gov. I won't forget to lay him up. Godspeed, Kingsley.
a job to do. Get out of there. Yes, sir. He's gone. Just get able to wear them in position, sir. Wait on your orders. We're ready for our bonus, Kingsley. On my command, we charge. Charge! Go, go, go! Forward! Case mates, I'll take the upper ones. Don't forget the flare. Let's move up. We're such. All right, boys, this is it. You're on me. Tommy! Try get back. We need to clear the door. All right, lads. Up of you. With me. That hot trap's tearing you up. Press it fire now. Press the half track now. They're falling back. Keep pushing. On the left. Another half track. Watch the half track. Move. Move. Keep the left half track down. MG down. Nice work. Hold the line! Focus your fire! Use the half tracks! Yes, sir. Stay behind the half track! Don't give those MGs a target! Move this thing! Now! Stick on it, lads! Stay covered! Almost there! You find a torch, Sarge. Bloody hell, it stinks in here. Sarge, torch over here. Best grab it. <coughs> Bloody hell. Up ahead now. Look at that fucking monster. One down, one to go. That's the last of the thermite. Sarge, I could use your help here.
Christ, that was close. Webb did his part. before this thing explodes. You have the flare, Sarge? Bombardment's close. Go! Get out and fire the flare! <laughs> Sergeant, the flare! Bombardment's any minute! Damn! Flare's ruptured! You've gotta be fucking joking! Where's Webb? There! Lower case, mate! Incoming! Get down! I'm going for Webb's flare! Get everyone to cover! We need to run for it! Time to take a kip. I was just waiting for some now bastard to come and save the day. Well, let's you and I signal our boy, shall we? We'd lost our captain, but we'd won the day. And we'd honored the memory of all those we lost the only way we could by completing the mission. You look at the soldiers under your command and hope that they can do the difficult thing, the impossible thing. That flare told me I'd been right. This is what it means to be a leader. From all the flags waving on the streets, we'd never have known the Nazis were about to lose the war. But bullies are always loudest when they're scared. And when they're desperate, they get stupid. Commander Hermann Freisinger had killed Novak. Then he'd given us a free ride. Right into the lion's den. I've read the field report. Twice. This Allied team is fascinating. They have been captured. But it was too close. I want you to find out everything you can about this unit. It will be my pleasure, sir. You will speak of this to no one else. And report directly to me. Al Hitler. Mm. Oh, it is, everyone. 
This prison is now a battlefield. Christ, what is that smell? Chlorine dioxide. They think it hides the smell of death. So, Ryan, Ryan! He's locked the bivik, thing! Well, this is the nicest shit all I've ever been in. Is anyone else hungry? Alina, the eggs is all honey. That, it's because of the gun. No vision. So, I am Hauptsturmführer Richter, and. Piss off, crowd. Unless you got room service for us. And I have questions for you. How are we going to eat bloody questions? I'm the commanding officer. You'll speak with me. Even then, Richter was easy to read. Uniforms at high rank, no combat medals. Office rat. The perfect mark. Surrounded by three guards, all armed and all wankers. In all my years studying the Allies, I have never come across such an unusual unit. Kingsley, Arthur, Lieutenant, service number 25232642. Tell you a story. I have spoken with the Fuhrer on exactly one occasion. He recommended a book to me, The Passing of the Great Race, by an American, a man named Madison Grant. The Fuhrer had nothing but praise for him. Fuck Madison Grant, and everyone like him. The book reveals that under extreme duress, or unfavorable conditions your people do not deteriorate so easily. In that moment, I knew what I had to do. Right at the suprasternal notch, below the clavicle. Once we had what we needed from this racist bastard, that's where I would put my knife. My plan began to take shape. We were being held in the basement of Gestapo headquarters. Around and above us was a treasure trove of classified Nazi intelligence. Project Phoenix had to be there somewhere, and Richter was our ticket. He thought he was the interrogator. If he was to be of any use to us, he'd have to keep thinking that. That arrogant Nazi in his clean-pressed uniform loved the sound of his own voice. The hard part wouldn't be fooling Richter into spilling what he knew of Project Phoenix. I would like to see for myself. The hard part would be convincing the others not to kill him first. The Allies somehow knew about Project Phoenix. We must have a traitor amongst the officers. No. I pulled their files. Take care of them with the other non-essentials. <clears throat> Lieutenant Kingsley mentioned a Project Phoenix, likely Allied propaganda. The Negro thought he was protecting his team. No doubt to prove himself. To make him their leader. The Allies must have been desperate. <laughs> he said it was their first mission. That his sixth man is dead. He's probably lying. I will uncover the truth. But there are other teams like this one. How did they learn of Hamburg? Is Tempelhof at risk of being compromised? These are the things I need to know. 
There's more at stake here than I'm at liberty to discuss. Just know that I'm counting on you, Herr Richter. I understand. Thank you. So. Well, I see ten fingers. That's a good sign, at least. Let me go pass. I'm fine. Listen. They know about Wade. But they haven't caught him yet. You told him he was killed, didn't you? On the train to Hamburg. I don't think they'll fall for it, but the hope is it'll buy him some time to get us out. He isn't coming back for us. He's right, Kingsley. We can't count on that fucking drum guy. Bring out the girl. She ain't going nowhere, mate. Oh, just get out of my way. Boss! Lena, Nikolaisnin, whose name is Yoshto Moshesh. 